I don't consent to searches or seizures. I don't care what you consent to. Okay. I don't consent to searches or seizures. I don't care what you consent to. Okay. Okay, guys. I have a new channel. It's called Small Town Audits 101. I will put the link to that in the description. Let's get to a thousand subscribers over there so I can go live. I don't know the future of this channel, but I can tell you what. I would like to be able to back up all my stuff, at least all my videos, or upload brand new videos on that channel without worrying about technical difficulties. So guys, I was out here filming the... Um, yeah, I was filming a institution from a public sidewalk. I was never confronted by anybody. I never went on the property. They told the police officers that I was looking through their windows, which I did not do. And I was exercising my first amendment rights in public. So a little backstory on the court situation here. So my attorney said he can't do much for me on this case. Which I don't know why he said that. I don't know if something in the video made him upset. But he didn't need to hear it over there. So I had to apply for a public defender. Now this lawyer I came out of pocket for. And he didn't do his job. So I had to get a public defender. So guys, remember. Always film the police in every encounter. They did not respect my rights. I don't believe they did at this point in time. And you can clearly hear the officer said, I don't care what you consent to. So guys, I have a trial date by judge August 9th. Now, apparently I can't get a jury trial because I don't face no more than 60 days in the, in the county. So apparently I can't get a jury trial. I want a jury trial. They won't give me a jury trial. So I don't know. People at the bank were lying to the police officers to get me arrested. So hopefully I'll have access to body cam footage. I'll have access the to the bank footage. I'll have access to all the stuff I need in discovery. When you, when you, when the person goes in, you get access to untold amount of things that you normally wouldn't get access to. No, so I hope, like I, I hope I'll be able to see the, the bank footage from inside the bank. All police body cam footage as well. I'm hoping I'll be able to see that as well. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to see these two, these cars, mm. these two cars apparently yeah. back out of the locker. I want to see that. They were, I believe they were lying, but I don't oh, know. Sorry. I can't tell. I saw one car leave, like he's got done conducting business. And this other car, I didn't see where that other car go. But I'm assuming he didn't back out, but I would have saw it. So always film the police. I'm out, guys. Sorry for the long speech. But I'm out, guys. Peace out. Neither this is the one. Don't answer questions. This will probably be a silent treatment, dude. Audit. I'll try to stay silent if I can. But for the most part, yeah. This one should have been, been. That's when you should have been, been. Damn, I didn't bring it. Oh, I didn't bring it. Damn, I didn't bring it. Maybe they can
What do you think? I mean, is this public? Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> See, even right. What you gonna say, Nissan? Stay back. So what's the real deal, man? You're walking around with kind of like military gear on and a rifle case and you're scoping out the bank. You want to tell me what's, what's that all about? You want to talk to me and tell me what you're doing? Okay, because it's not acceptable behavior, okay? You want to talk to me? I know we, we've we've talked before. I know you were going to record me and put everything on the internet, and that's totally fine. Don't touch me, dude. I'll sit here, but if you touch me, that's on you. So you're in a you're you're recording the bank with a rifle on your back, okay? Don't touch me, dude. What are you Stop. doing, bro? What are you doing? Stop. Do not violate my first amendment rights. Stop. Do not violate Stop. my rights. What's your name, Bass number, dude? We'll give you everything whenever we're all done here. Stop. You know that's not legal, right? <laughs> sure it is. Oh, sure it is. You're at a bank, looking you're in the window. You're at a bank carrying a case. Please, please do not violate my first amendment rights. Am I being detained please. for a crime? Right now, you're being searched for weapons. I don't consent to searches or seizures. I don't care what you consent to. Okay. When you're walking around with a bag that's designed to carry a weapon, uh, you kind of lose that. You're violating my rights, Mom. All right. No, there you are. What's your name, bud? None of your business. You have to tell me. No, I you're don't. Gonna, no. You're in, you're in detention right now. For what, for what crime? For what crime? Yeah. For what crime, Mom? Looking at a bank with it, a rifle on your back. It's not that's a suspicious. It's not a rifle, though. But it sure looks like one. It's Doesn't suspicious. It's not illegal to carry a, it's a case. It's disorderly conduct behavior is what it is. No, it's not. Okay. Who's the victim of that? Okay. Who's the, the bank. The bank's the, employee, the victim? The employees of the bank. They're standing when, there scared out of their mind. When your behavior goes and... Listen. When your I'm behavior... I'm trying to listen, dude. Listen. Mm -hmm. listen. When your behavior prompts an entire bank to go into lockdown because they're in fear for their life because you're dressed in combat tactical gear carrying around a case that's designed to carry a weapon that, sir, is disorderly conduct. Your behavior is disturbing the peace. I'm not doing anything. Nobody's okay. in front of me, though. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to give us your name and tell us who you are, or you're going to be obstructing our investigation. Can I get a supervisor, Mom? Okay. He'll be here. Can I get a supervisor? He'll be here. Oh, let, me, let me talk to him. Here. Let me talk to him, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. We'll talk to him. Well, we're gonna put you in handcuffs. We're put That's you fine. Handcuffs don't, don't just, just, just don't touch. Just, just don't touch my phone, bro. You can handcuff me. That's no problem. But don't touch my phone. Pockets, no, no, bro. I'm filming this whole thing. You're violating my. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And you just violated my rights by putting my phone in my pocket. 
Don't you touch my phone. You got me in handcuffs. That's fantastic. I don't consent to none of this. You don't have to consent to it. But for right now, please do not seize my phone. I'm telling you not to do it. Just to, oh, no, it's not. Of course not. You just, okay. Put it in your pocket. No, I'm not. I'm going to film this because you violate my rights. That's it. No, we're not. You okay. are. Then don't tell me to put you, something in my pocket. Huh? Get me your supervisor. So Stop you touching my phone, bro. You just violate my first amendment rights. All right. That's, down here on the right here. That's what you just did, man. Sit. Have Sit. a seat. For what? Sit. Because we're telling you to. For what crime? See, you just violated my rights already. You just seized my phone. You know that's a first member violation, right? I want to talk to your supervisor. He's coming. He's All already right. on his way. Okay. Where's my phone at, dude? I'm on the way. I have it. I was going to put it in your pocket, but you kept squirming. I told you not to touch my phone. It doesn't matter what you said. It's not your rules, bud. It's not your rules. So you did rifle people's rights? No, it's not, it has nothing to do with rights. Yes, You're it does. Windows with a rifle. I ain't like committed that. no crime. I looked the windows? Yeah. You thought one of the property was the same? Are you yeah. sure about that? That's I, what they're saying. What? Well, I've been the live the entire right there on the wall. Go so. check their camera. I've been live the entire time, bro. So go ahead and t go ahead and live. Because if they're lying, making a false report, I'm facing charges. False report for what? Yeah, if you're saying I went on their property, which I didn't, then, okay. you know, that's the problem. Never, never went on the property, been on the sidewalk. I've been alive the entire time. Well, like I said, your behavior no, is disturbing. Okay, it's disturbing the peace. I'm not disturbing you any peace. You put an entire bank on lockdown and put every employee in fear for their life because you were walking around with a case that is designed to carry a weapon. Which is not illegal, right? Is that illegal? Uh, tactical gear. Is that illegal? Yes, it is. It's disturbing the peace. Outside disturbing the bank? Conduct. Absolutely. When I, made, when I made no contact with no individual. Doesn't no matter. contact. So, Does not matter. Sir. So you're saying that it's not suspicious for a, a sus, sus, subject to stand outside of a bank, dressed in tactical gear, carrying a rifle bag. You're saying people haven't been shot outside of a bank by um, people dressed like that? Did I go on their property? That's, that's did I go on their property? I'm just asking. Have to. You don't have to. I'm not on their but property. you're standing outside your bank, dressed like you're going to shoot up the place. I'm not, Is though. that suspicious? Answer my question. Everything's yes no. suspicious. Huh? Everything's suspicious in life, Mel. Just get a yeah. supervisor here, Mel. We'll talk to him. We'll He's go from there. Way. Okay. And then once he gets here, we'll go talk to the bank. Mm hmm. There's nothing wrong with exercising your First Amendment rights in public, man. Doesn't matter how I'm dressed, what I'm doing. Sure, there is. Are those body cast them to the public? They sure. You have oh. to request them. They may or may not give them to you. Okay, so you just violate my First Amendment rights, which is. What's your First Amendment right to carry a rifle in public on a uh, on a bank? You, you, you claim this is a rifle. It looks like it could, it could have been. But didn't you just go through and see what's inside? Yeah. And what was inside of but it? But it looks like a rifle bag. It is a rifle bag. It's a bag that's designed to carry a rifle. You got empty holsters on you. They don't know that. <laughs> the bank doesn't know what you, you're capable of doing. They're scared. Well, as far as supervisors should be... nothing to do with us. No, I'm just saying supervisors should be the one that's talking to me right now because you guys don't know what you're doing. Okay. He's going to tell you the same thing we're telling you. <laughs> Where you put my phone at? In my pocket. In your pocket. So you, right. oh, so you violated my first. Oh, okay, I see you. It's okay. I won't get all your names and numbers after this. I thought you were down that way. I, <laughs> I started going past. I thought it was that man first. Oh. Conducting a first amendment audit, and you guys clearly failed. Right when COVID started, he was up there filming the water plant. That wasn't me. I, that, that, that that actually wasn't me, though. But he wasn't. It was. But no, it wasn't. He says this isn't suspicious. Exercise my first member rights. This man put his, my phone in his pocket, and just violated my rights. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't go on their property. If one person backed out of this bank because of how he was acting, he's going to jail for disorderly conduct. That's, that's, that's what I told him. Disturbing the peace. You got him. You care about going to the bank? What is going on, my man? I'm just exercising my rights. Right. What's your name? Am I being detained? Are Learning? you in handcuffs, sitting on the ground, surrounded by police officers? Guess my will, yeah. I didn't ask you what your will was. You asked if you were being detained. I was clarifying the definition of being detained. Yes, sir, you are being detained. What is your name? Are you going to arrest me if I don't give you my name? You're already under arrest, my man. Okay, that's all I need to hear. My name is Floyd Wallace. I'll give you my name. It's 12-17-1995. Okay, we have a Floyd Wallace. 
12, 17, and 99. 1995. Correction, 1995. I apologize. <clears throat> you, you got to run out of Nebraska. <clears throat> says he's from Nebraska. Yep. What's the best I'm going to do since you're arriving on the scene? Is your body cams uh, accessible? Yeah. Our is body cameras what? Are your body cams accessible? Accessible? Mm. You can file Freedom of Information Act for them. Okay. So they do is put my phone in his pocket. Ain't that something? That's something <clears> new. <throat> you don't think this is I mean, I'm not breaking all laws, though. No. I, di I didn't go on their property. I never went on their property. You created a very odd situation for people. Were you hiding behind a tree? No. Didn't even do that. Right. Like I said, I was live the entire time until you shut it off by turning off my phone. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to just not asking questions right now because you are being detained. Mm. Um, I can tell you exactly what I just told that officer. Mm. If one person backed out of this parking lot because of how you were acting, dressed, and presenting yourself, you are going to jail for disorderly conduct. Backed out of the parking lot? Yes. You created what, a, you just what do you stopped. mean by backing out? What do you mean like leaving? You stopped and left because of how you were acting. You disrupted people's everyday normal life. That's disorderly conduct. Well, nobody left the parking lot, so they better come with the truth because I've been live the entire time. I'm a first member order. Exercise my first member rights. Now, how I do it, as long as it's within the law, that's all that matters. Well, this is not within the law. Yes, it is. I never disturbed nobody. I didn't talk to nobody. Yeah. I was, I was minding my own business. Your definition and interpretation of the law is not mm. accurate, my man. Okay, whatever you say, bud. Just mm -hmm. hope they're telling the truth, though. I hope so, because if I get arrested and I do get charged and they're lying, I'm going to I'm going to file charges. Because that's fair, right? Try that, yeah. That's fair. I'll let you know I have no ill will nor intent. I wear the mask for COVID reasons. Um, that's what I want to ask for, because I've caught that virus before, and it took me out. Damn near took me out. Of all the times to have a trailer with a door just swinging open, like, and he's gonna jump out in the middle of traffic to stop to address that? Yeah. That's why I wasn't gonna wait for that, for uh, the Memorial and Potomac. That, that was kind of. Especially when I asked that question, they didn't answer. I didn't know what was going on. Oh, well, my people should be here soon. You know, when you take a picture, you should take it sideways, get a better angle. I don't need to take it sideways. Okay. <clears throat> So guys, at this point, my battery runs out, so I do apologize. It was cold, it was a little cold, a little chilly, it was raining, so I wonder if that contributed to the battery running out. So the video is going to end soon, unfortunately. Sorry it was incomplete, but it was due to my glasses running out of battery. So guys, Ooh. go to Small Town Audits 101, links in the description. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm out, guys. Peace out. Bye-bye now.